Few things are as satisfying as making your own pile of wood. So before you get to work, let's meet your equipment. Let's get to know the basic parts of a chainsaw. Here we have a Remington Outlaw. On this side, we have the front and rear handles, chain brake lever and front handguard, the bar retaining nuts, and the tension adjustment screw. Back here, we have the start and stop switch, primer bulb, choke lever, and you access the air filter here. And on this side, we have the bucking spike, starter handle, throttle lockout and throttle control, and fuel and oil goes here. Over here on the business end, we have the guide bar and bar tip and your saw chain. Okay, now you know your way around a chainsaw, so let's get started. Before starting your saw, remove all children and pets from the area, even the ones that want to help. Now make sure the saw is fueled up and the chains tensioned and oiled. We'll get to how to do those things later. When you're ready to start, always start a chainsaw on the ground. Make sure the chain brake is disengaged. Switch it to on. Press the primer bulb 10 times to get fuel into the carburetor. Pull the choke knob out and watch so you don't touch the throttle control. Now put your left hand on the front handle and with your right foot, step on the boot loop to hold the saw in place. With the choke on, pull the starter rope five times, firmly and steadily, getting fuel into the engine. You may even hear a pop, so you know it's ready. Push the choke knob in, making sure you get the right fuel-air mixture. Now, pull the rope three to five more times to start the saw. Your chain will be spinning at fast idle, so press your throttle lockout and release the trigger to stop the chain. Let it warm up. About 30 seconds should do it. Unless it's cold, then give it a minute. Ready to go to work? Just press the throttle lockout and squeeze the trigger. To stop the saw, release the throttle control and let the engine idle. Then move the switch to the stop position. Make sure you wait for the chain to come to a complete stop. In the event you need to stop the chain immediately, push the chain brake lever and handguard forward, then move the switch to the stop position. Well, that covers starting and stopping. Now, if you want to know more about operating and maintaining your chainsaw, try one of these.